Hey, good afternoon. This is Neil Semper Futures. It's Thursday, May the 18th, one day in front of Friday options expiration tomorrow. This is actually the third time that I've done this video. The um, technology is not on my side here today. But um, after doing videos last night, I really don't have anything new to say about the S&P's equity complex. I figured I'd switch gears and go with a new idea. And that is that uh, finally we have something to talk about here in Nat Gas. All right. So this is Nat Gas Futures right here. But I'm going to show you another way you can do it. I think personally, I think it's less risk on the ETF. But um, I'll give you the levels here on the futures as well. Two dollars and about fifty cents support on retrace targets are uh, three fifty and four eighty on the way up, and um, stop would be uh, just below yeah, yesterday's low um, in the two and like a quarter two eh, make it like two twenty um, on the stop now. Uh, Another way to do that without taking on the risk of the futures is actually to go with the ETF, which is UNG. And it's a little bit higher priced, but it's uh, it's a lot less risky than dealing with the futures and the leverage and everything. So here the levels would be about um, $7.10 buy limit retrace support. That's what I would anticipate the support being on retrace. We use about a six dollar and fifty cent stop. Put T ones at uh, about nine bucks, and then I'm gonna hold runners to see if we can get something really going. Get them up into the twenty-ish uh, or so dollar uh, area up there. And again, don't forget that tomorrow is options expiration. So as far as like the S and P's and all that kind of stuff, um, that'll be the theme tomorrow. Um, I don't expect a lot tomorrow, but I do want to see this thing kind of come in for a retracement, sit down next week. It's gotten a little carried away. And NASDAQ, 13,900. I mean, it was not long ago, it was like 13,000. So that's just crazy. It's insane. I mean, we got to, you know, let it come in, sit down, and rest a bit. We'll get them on some kind of decent uh, retracement. But, um, <clears throat> You know, the Nasdaq's showing us the way. We've talked, been talked, and talked, and talked, and talked about it. I mean, we're still in the same range that we've been in, but the Nasdaq is not. The Nasdaq is leading the way. So that's the same story on the equity front. Like I said, I, I think I said the same thing as recently as last night's video. So we're coming up with a new idea here um, in Nat Gas. But it's finally breaking out of this range, which should uh, start to get some people's attention, I would imagine, because it's been trapped down here since, geez, like February, I think. So, um, well, you know, so with any luck, there's an idea. Um, until I'm with you again at the next update, good trading. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.